AI is capable of creating stunning artistic landscapes, thought-provoking abstracts, and portraits with depth and emotion that do mirror the complexity of human creativity, it's incredible what technology is capable of. Join me, I'm exploring the top 15 most incredible AI art creations. Starting with number 15, Rafik Anadol, Machine Hallucination. Rafik Anadol, a millennial Turkish-American new media artist born in 1985, is no stranger to pushing artistic boundaries. He's renowned for his avant-garde projects. He delves into the realm of data-driven machine learning algorithms, birthing abstract dreamscapes that captivate your imagination. Anybody can use AI for simple tasks, but this artist takes that to a new level. His creation, Machine Hallucinations, Nature Dreams, it's tailored for the esteemed Koenig Gallery, unfurls three innovative aesthetic ventures into a vast nature-centric photograph. Nature Dreams, a colossal data sculpture, unveils machine-generated dynamic pigments of nature. Complementing this, four new series of data paintings materialize and Winds of Berlin, a site-specific public art projection onto the St. Agnes Tower, emerges, fueled by real-time environmental data from the city. Rafik Anadol stands at the forefront of digital art and of crypto collectibles, having minted the inaugural fully immersive digital artwork NFT in September 2021. Synthetic realities take center stage in Nature Dreams, an architectural exhibition born of GAN algorithms and AI inspired by fluid dynamics, transforming data sets into multi-sensory experiences. The eponymous AI data sculpture Nature Dreams is kind of a masterpiece. It harnesses a colossal data set, over 300 million publicly available nature photographs collected at Rafik Anadol's studio between 2018 and 2021. Collaborating with the Google AI Quantum team, Anadol merges AI-induced latent space with quantum hyperspace, offering a glimpse into an alternative reality through nature aesthetics. And despite having such a massive installation, Anadol managed to find a buyer, for whom he downloaded the entire thing into a single file on a custom computer. Number 14. The Next Rembrandt Art history perennially graps with the tantalizing what-ifs of iconic artists. What if Van Gogh had brushed another wheat field, or if da Vinci had enticed Mona Lisa into a second sitting? The mysteries persist, but modern technology has dared to offer speculative response to one such query. In the Netherlands, a quote-unquote new Rembrandt painting has emerged, resurrecting the master's prowess in captivating light and shadow. Fear not, though, there was no macabre reanimation involved, and Rembrandt's mortal coil still rests peacefully beneath Amsterdam's Westerkirk. Instead, a fusion of art and cutting-edge technology made the next Rembrandt. This artistic offspring drew inspiration from a staggering 168,000 fragments of Rembrandt's works. It took 18 months, a coalition of engineers, Rembrandt experts, and a team of data scientists meticulously scrutinizing 346 of the maestro's works. The machine was armed with insights into Rembrandt's artistic nuances. It made a 2D masterpiece, mimicking the Dutch master's hand. But the team's ingenuity didn't stop there. They employed 3D scans and a hype map of Rembrandt's paintings. They replicated his brush strokes with a 3D printer, layering 13 pigments to generate a stunning 148 million pixel canvas. The result is eerily authentic. It seamlessly blends into Rembrandt's body of work. Yet as the painting awaits its public debut, questions linger. Does a machine-crafted creation possess the soul of its human muse? While well, credit hovers ambiguously between Rembrandt and the collaborative team, is it genuine art or a whimsical experiment? This technological feat sparks a dialogue about the interplay of art and algorithms, data, human design, and the nexus between technology and emotion. Number 13, Anna Riddler's Myriad, Tulips. In the 1630s, the notorious tulip mania seized the Dutch Golden Age, a frenzy where the allure of rare and exotic tulips purportedly led zealous buyers to financial ruin, cementing its status as the inaugural economic bubble. Cut to 2019, though, and the flowers became the subject of some serious AI art. London-based artist Anna Riddler catapults the historical obsession into the future in her latest work, Mosaic Virus, a video installation commissioned by Netherlands-based art organization Impact and currently showcased at Ars Electronica Export in Berlin under the exhibit Error, the Art of Imperfection. Powered by a generative adversarial network algorithm trained on her extensive floral photograph collection, forming a separate installation titled Myriad Tulips. The result is mesmerizing. It's a grid of artificial blooms, predominantly in shades of pink and white, morphing in tandem with Bitcoin market fluctuations. 
AI-generated art, a contentious realm underscored by a recent Christie's sale where a Gan-based portrait fetched over 430 grand, is navigated by Riddler with a unique perspective. Trained at the Royal College of Art and Oxford University, Riddler acknowledges the contentious terrain surrounding authorship in AI, emphasizing human decisions and labor invested in shaping datasets. Contrasting with the presumed objectivity of artificial intelligence, Mosaic is juxtaposed with its photographic training set, Myriad Tulips. Here, Riddler's human labor takes center stage, as she spent spring through early summer meticulously selecting over 10,000 ideal flowers, documenting them based on color, striation, species, and decay. Through this process, Riddler challenges the notion of objectivity, reminding us that behind the algorithms lies a network of human decisions and labor, just as in the historical realms of botany and workshop painting. Number 12. Memories of Passersby Memories of Passersby stand as a groundbreaking masterpiece in the realm of artificial intelligence. This fully autonomous artwork employs an intricate neural network to incessantly craft portraits, haunting visions of both male and female faces, all conceived by the machinations of a machine. Presented as an installation, the AI resides within a custom chestnut wood cabinet connected to two frame screens. Diverging from its predecessors, Memories of Passers-By doesn't rely on pre-existing databases. It's an autonomous AI brain, meticulously developed and trained by Mario Klingman, generating wholly original portraits pixel by pixel in real time. The displayed outputs are not haphazard amalgamations or programmed combinations of existing images, but rather unique AI-conceived artworks. The visual narrative is not scripted, it unfolds organically as the AI interprets its own output. Containing all the necessary algorithms and generative adversarial networks to produce an infinite array of new images as long as it operates, Memories of Passersby 1 signifies a significant stride in the burgeoning field of AI art. Klingman sculpted Memories of Passersby 1 by training his AI model with thousands of portraits spanning the 17th to 19th centuries. A Tinder-like application expedited the learning process, imparting the machine with Klingman's personal aesthetic inclinations, influenced by surrealist luminaries such as Max Ernst. The resulting AI-generated interpretations of the human visage in Memories of Passerby 1 echo Andre Breton's concept of conclusive beauty. At times, the image dissolves into abstract pixel arrangements as the machine grapples with the challenge of birthing a new portrait. For the viewer, the experience is hypnotic, a front-row seat to an AI brain thinking in real time, presenting truly unique portraits that neither are documented nor duplicated. Number 11. Midjourney Founded in San Francisco, California by David Holtz, a former co-founder of Leap Motion, Midjourney Incorporated has swiftly emerged as a prominent player in the realm of generative AI. The Midjourney image generation platform transitioned into open beta on July 12, 2022, marking a significant milestone in its journey. Their Discord server took off on March 14, 2022 with essentially a casting call for high-quality photographs on Twitter and Reddit for systems training. Midjourney does stand strong as an example of generative AI, proficient in transforming natural language prompts into visually striking images. Amidst the burgeoning landscape of machine learning-based image generators, Midjourney has solidified its standing, standing tall alongside established players like DALI. The generated results from Midjourney span the spectrum, from eerily lifelike to visually spectacular, contingent on the nature of the prompt. Some instances even showcase images that have successfully deceived experts in photography and other domains. Social media has witnessed the circulation of remarkably convincing AI-generated images, from Pope Francis sporting a puff jacket to a fictitious arrest of an American president. Major news publications around the world have even conscripted Midjourney to create covers and comics, and in more exciting artistic turns, it's demonstrated its creative flair, conjuring imaginative creations such as a Star Wars scene infused with the distinctive style of Wes Anderson. Midjourney's operations remain concealed behind closed-source architecture and proprietary code, leveraging two cutting-edge machine learning technologies, large language models, and diffusion models. Midjourney navigates the creative process. Number 10. Ben Snell's Dio In the realm of record-breaking auctions, artistic controversies, and debates on creativity, an innovative twist emerges, an AI-generated sculpture crafted from the ground remains of the computer that birthed it. New York artist Ben Snell's creation named Dio has found its place on the auction block at London's Phillips, making a distinct moment in the AI art landscape. While Christie's and Sotheby's had previously auctioned AI-generated works, Snell's sculpture represents the first of its kind to undergo the auction process. 
DO follows the methodology of its predecessors, utilizing machine learning algorithms to scan and digest a database of historical artworks, and these algorithms then endeavor to replicate the absorbed data, with the artist's guidance shaping the output. In DO's case, the training data comprised an archive of over a thousand classical sculptures, including iconic pieces such as the Discobulus and Michelangelo's David. Snell, however, remains tight-lipped about the extent of his involvement in shaping the algorithm's output, emphasizing his focus on communicating and contextualizing Dio's behavior rather than delving into technical intricacies. After completing a 3D model, Snell took a unique approach by disassembling the computer used for Dio, reducing it to dust within a specially designed sealed box, and this included the computer's enclosure, hard drive, RAM, and graphics processing unit. Subsequently, he 3D printed a mold for Dio and cast the sculpture using resin combined with the pulverized remains of the computer. This unconventional step aimed to limit Snell's control over the algorithms, transforming the data and training the model into literal dust, and ensuring that Dio stands as a singular, irreplicable artifact. Number 9. Cosmopolitan Magazine Cover Six Cosmo magazine employees on a simple zoom took one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind, or perhaps AI kind. They, quote unquote, created the world's first magazine cover designed entirely by artificial intelligence. Now, this group includes editors from the Cosmopolitan, members of the Artificial Intelligence Research Lab OpenAI, and digital artist Karen X. Chang, the first human granted access to the shared computer system they're employing. Their endeavor involves inputting increasingly whimsical descriptions into a search field, challenging the AI to visualize and generate an original magazine cover. However, the suggestion of a woman with an earring as a portal to another universe doesn't really align with the team's vision, leading to a humorous comparison to Mary Poppins by Mallory Roynan, Cosmopolitan's creative director. The AI at play is Dolly 2, an artificial intelligence capable of transforming verbal requests into entirely new images. This neural network relies on its extensive knowledge of hundreds of millions of images throughout human history, generating pixel-by-pixel -pixel creations based on user input. For instance, if shown flashcards of koalas labeled koala, it learns to recognize koalas. This contextual understanding allows it to interpret complex prompts logically. When Cheng requests something as specific as a wide-angle shot from below of a female astronaut with an athletic feminine body walking with swagger toward the camera on Mars in an infinite universe synth wave digital art, her actual words, Dali delivers the image in less than a minute, less than 30 seconds even, and Dali delivered exactly what Cheng asked for. It is pretty wild. Number 8. Marco Brembilla's King Size Renowned film director and video artist Marco Brambilla has unveiled King Size, a groundbreaking 16K resolution immersive artwork paying tribute to the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. Commissioned for the opening of the Sphere in Las Vegas during rock band U2's inaugural residency, the colossal digital collage captivates viewers on a vast 15,000 square meter display with a unique 180 degree field of view. Brambilla is known for his innovative use of digital imaging and AI. He utilizes state-of-the-art tech to immerse the audience in Elvis's world. Now, despite the mesmerizing spectacle, King Size delves into darker themes, exposing an unraveling of the American dream and the damages inflicted by excess and capitalism, intertwined with a poignant reflection on the future of AI. Elvis's journey from prodigy to myth unfolds in loops, portraying the evolution of celebrity and the societal illusions he embodied. Trained using Stable Diffusion, an AI model, Brambila processed over 12,000 film samples, creating a hypnotic matrix of films that depicts Elvis's transformation into a resurrected, larger-than-life idol. Advanced CGI, in collaboration with leading Parisian post-production studio, enhanced the video's collage details, fitting seamlessly onto the sphere's screen. King Size challenges conventional image consumption, featuring an upward-scrolling narrative from the Nevada desert's birth of Las Vegas to Elvis's iconic moments on stage and screen. The concentric ring showcases various incarnations, creating a vortex that mirrors his career's highs and lows. As Elvis transcends mortality, Brambilla's artwork reflects a godlike figure, symbolizing the mythic stature that Presley attained. The scenographic and emotional progression of King Size immerses viewers in a trance-like experience. The narrative culminates with Elvis's larger-than-life presence paralleling Las Vegas's transformation into an AI-enhanced metropolis. Brembula remarks on the unsustainable cycle of production and consumption as the artwork ascends, leaving an indelible impact on how we perceive and process images. Moving on to number 7, Gilbert and George by AI. 
Collaborative art duo Gilbert and George, renowned for their distinctive appearance and graphic style photo-based artworks, celebrated their 50th anniversary in 2017. Recently, in April of 2023, they inaugurated the Gilbert and George Center in London to exhibit their work regularly. The pair, Gilbert Pruche and George Passmore, have been exploring post-humanity since their 1969 performance art piece, The Singing Sculpture, where they painted themselves silver like robots, embodying a futuristic radicalism in merging their creative identities. So all of this made them perfect candidates to tackle this new AI revolution. Their AI-generated portraits of Gilbert and George resemble the artists, yet carry distinct differences. Not resembling conventional photographs, these images are crafted by the software painting them, quote-unquote, through multiple attempts, each infused with unique eccentricities. In the upper left, Gilbert exudes a vibe reminiscent of a 1960s Antonini or Fellini film, while at the lower right, the duo morphs into a shared, somewhat grumpy caricature. A consistent trait across all portraits is the peculiar, cold, and distant gaze in their eyes, a hallmark of the challenges when tasked with machine capturing the essence of a human subject. The portraits vividly showcase the idiosyncrasies inherent in the machine's interpretation of inhuman features, highlighting the distinctive outcome when artificial intelligence takes on the role of portraying humanity. But with all that said, Gilbert and George are some seriously kooky dudes, and Gilbert and George by AI only drives that fact home. Combining artistically generated images with the very real, very human pop art style of the swinging 60s only makes the British duo even more unique and even more interesting. Number 6. Marvel's Secret Invasion In the realm of Secret Invasion, where trust is a fleeting illusion as the alien race of the Skrulls blends into the fabric of Earth, the show's opening credits stand as a piece of artistic innovation and, of course, the use of AI art. As the narrative unfolds, with Nick Fury unraveling the clandestine machinations of the Skrull population, the series itself undergoes a transformative visual journey in its introduction, resembling a mesmerizing watercolor portrayal of key elements and characters. But to put it simply, the intro is awesome. The opening sequence, a jittery and foreboding display of Skrull green spreading across the world, carries the essence of an AI interpreting the concept of Skrull cubism. Salim, the creative force behind the sequence, shed light on collaborative and iterative nature of the process. The sequence unfolds as a result of a dedicated collaboration involving art directors, animators proficient in both 2D and 3D, artists and developers, each contributing their expertise to the project. The integration of AI into this creative endeavor was a pivotal element, playing with the very themes woven into the show's narrative. The entire artistic journey under expert art direction encompassed a comprehensive process. Starting with the initial storyboard phase, the team delved into illustration, AI generation, and both 2D and 3D animation, ultimately culminating in the final compositing stage. This collaborative fusion of traditional artistic techniques with cutting-edge AI resulted in an opening sequence that captures the essence of Secret Invasion, but it also stands as a testament to the boundless possibilities when human creativity converges with AI. The watercolor renderings of the show's major figures metamorphizing in sync with the scroll narrative really make the viewer wonder, is the Secret Invasion really happening? Number 5. One, The Road by Ross Goodwin now we're beginning our final stretch with something a bit different. We're still talking about AI art, but now we're diving into the literary world. Remember seeing all those Google Street View cars driving around making maps all around town? Well, a self-proclaimed gonzo data scientist took that idea and really let it ride. His name is Ross Goodwin, and oddly enough, before penning his AI-aided novel, he was a ghostwriter for President Barack Obama. This guy managed to transform a Cadillac into a writing machine during a road trip from New York to New Orleans. The result was a work that he entitled One, The Road, proclaimed as the first novel written by a machine, which unfolded like its own poetic odyssey over three days. But Ross didn't quite take pen to paper. Instead, a man turned his Cadillac into a pen. So as the four-wheel pen came to life, Goodwin played the role of dual writer and creator, imbuing the AI writing machine with all sorts of rules and sources to use as a roadmap. The AI generated captions for images captured by the rooftop camera, printing them on 127-foot rolls of receipt paper as an homage to Jack Kerouac's scroll manuscript for On the Road, which was penned on an equally long scroll of paper decades ago. One the Road, looking like a long poem more than a conventional narrative, presents brief time-stamped entries, shifting from the Homeric time-centric constructions to evolving sentence structure. Although programmed for English, the AI speaks a unique dialect, described by Goodwin as not quite human level, but akin to an insect brain that's learned to write. 
The resulting idiom produces humorous, profound, and sometimes nonsensical phrases, prompting readers to navigate its linguistic landscape like an uncharted territory. Now, despite Goodwin giving the large language model 200 books, the Cadillac author had a hard time developing something above a fifth grade reading level. The novel begins with the line, 9.17 in the morning, and the house carried a weight which actually sounds nice. The further entries into the work are just as brief, which is more akin to something Kerouac had written. But there are lines like, the bowl is made of wood in the middle of the street and nothing comes into its middle. So there's that. And don't forget about this little ditty. A patch of water was still looking for some organization and his lips were failing in vain. A distant silence. The water is dark and seems to be a container and the stars are still breaking out. Well, the fact that Goodwin used his skills to make a car read some 200 books, turn it into a pen, and dole out a novel all on receipt paper is amazing, and no one can deny that. But what we can deny is that these automated authors won't be replacing humans anytime soon. Number 4. Portrait of Edmund de Balmy in early 2018, a mysterious press release styled like an old-school arcade Game Over screen proclaimed, Creativity is not only for humans. Well, obvious, a French trio claimed their artificial intelligence had delved into the realm of artistry. The ensuing buzz led to the auction of a peculiar portrait at Christie's, initially expected to fetch under $10,000. To everyone's surprise, it soared to a ridiculous four hundred and thirty dollars well, all this raises the question, was the art worth the price paid, or did the price rise up simply thanks to the hype? Well, the portrait itself is a bit of an enigma. It looks grainy and seemingly incomplete, like someone gave up after realizing they didn't have the correct brush. A squint might deem it museum-worthy, while under scrutiny it reveals an ethereal visage emerging from a murky canvas. Beauty, after all, is in the eye of the beholder. Dark patches hints at eyes and a mouth, and pixelated quote-unquote brushstrokes contribute to that mystique. In the bottom corner, the algorithm signs its name, touted as the inaugural AI art piece auctioned. It thrust the creators into the limelight as pioneers of this unconventional art form, leveraging AI anxiety, the marketing effortlessly kindled curiosity, sparking a frenzy of bewildered questions. Is this art? Who holds the creative reins, the machine or its creators? Can machines be genuinely creative? The artwork birthed by an AI program secured a hefty sum at auction of $432,000. The final bid far exceeded Christie's conservative seven dollars to $10,000 estimate, revealing the market's fervor for this groundbreaking creation. It was dubbed the portrait of Edmund Bellamy. This piece is a brainchild of Paris-based collective Obvious, Using an algorithm and a dataset featuring 15,000 portraits spanning the 14th to the 20th centuries, the artwork's genesis is a fusion of art and technology. The algorithm underwent a fascinating process. Analyzing its creations against the extensive dataset, it refined itself even until the AI couldn't distinguish between its work and the centuries-old portraits. The portrait stands at the intersection of tradition and innovation. This unexpected surge in value highlights societies grappling with the evolving definition of artistry. What makes art art? Even though a human may not have been holding the paintbrush, they certainly created the algorithm that guided the AI in the right direction. Number 3. Jason M. Allen's Théâtre d'Opera Special AI has been around for a lot longer than we realize, but it's not until recently that it's really managed to steal the limelight, stirring up plenty of controversy along the way. That's exactly what this next entry did. Jason Allen, a video game designer from Pueblo, Colorado, recently clinched the top spot in the Colorado State Fair's digital art competition. His entry, named Teatro de Opera Spatial, not only secured first place, but also came with a $300 prize. And while in the grand scheme, $300 may not sound like much, the story is worth diving into. Allen's victory took an unexpected turn when he revealed online that he had employed Midjourney, the aforementioned artificial intelligence program capable of transforming text descriptions into images to create his winning artwork. Despite mentioning his use of AI to state fair officials during the submission process, the revelation triggered a heated debate about the definition of art. Allen, who spent around 80 hours crafting this piece, argued that he intended to make a statement with his artwork. While he achieved this goal of sparking online discourse, the controversy raised questions about what constitutes arts, with opinions divided on the role of AI in the creative process. 
The Colorado State Fair submission guidelines don't explicitly mention AI-generated art, defining digital arts more broadly as artistic practice that uses digital technology as part of the creative or presentation process. The competition's judges, unaware that Allen had employed AI, stated that even if they had known, he would have still received the top prize based on the story and spirit conveyed by the piece. The piece, described as a masterfully done painting, depicts a scene reminiscent of a space opera, featuring classical figures in a Baroque hall gazing through a circular viewport into a sun-drenched landscape. Allen's creative process involved entering various words and phrases into Midjourney, which generated over 900 renderings for him to choose from. After selecting his favorite three, he fine-tuned them using Photoshop and increased their resolution with Gigapixel before printing works on canvas. Despite the controversy and the criticism, Allen stands by his belief that the fear among artists about advancing technology threatens their job security. He refrains from disclosing the text prompt behind his winning image, intending to keep it a secret until he completes a larger related work later that year. Number 2. Suguan Chung so Guan Chong stands at the forefront of a new wave of artists merging creativity and artificial intelligence in groundbreaking ways. Unlike popular image generation tools, Chung's AI art transcends digital boundaries involving the physical realm through robotic collaboration. Trained on their own work, the neural net guides robots to paint on large canvases, not merely replicating Chung's brushstrokes, but introducing novel patterns and shapes. The result is a mesmerizing blend of human and machine ingenuity, redefining AI as an artistic instrument akin to a violin or a paintbrush. Chung, recognized with numerous awards for pioneering art and technology exploration, recently spoke with Time in London. The conversation delved into the prevalent skepticism of AI within creative circles, the evolving landscape of AI technology, and its potential as an ally in combating climate change. Now, the global impact of Chung's work is evident in exhibitions at renowned galleries and museums worldwide, including Emma in Espoom, Finland, Namco in Geneva, Switzerland, Vancouver Art Gallery in Canada, and Istanbul's Akbank Sanat. The artist has also been a featured speaker at prestigious conferences such as Tribeca Film Festival New York, Sonar Plus D at Barcelona, and South by Southwest Austin. One notable creation by Chung is the Drawing Operations Unit from 2017. Exploring the application of machine learning to mimic the artist's drawing style, in this innovative project, a robotic arm's behavior is shaped by neural nets trained on Chung's drawing gestures, resulting in a duet between human and machine, where the robot interprets and extends the artist's visual style. In 2024, Chung received the prestigious Time 100 AI designation, acknowledging their significant contributions to the intersection of art and technology. Additionally, they were honored with the Time 100 Impact Award, reaffirming their substantial impact on the evolving landscape of AI in the creative realm. So when Time acknowledges you for your work, you know you're doing something right. It's also quite refreshing to see AI art that asks for a little more than a prompt before doing all the work for you. Number 1. Mohammed Kasim Iqbal Mohammed Kasim Iqbal, an architecture student, ventures into the realm of silk and stone tectonics with a series of mid-journey generated images. But the two of them combined have managed to create some pretty wild images that look like they've been ripped from video games or fantasy novels. His conceptual exploration utilizes AI to craft these baroque facades of grandiosity and unparalleled intricacy. In a captivating blend of silk and stone elements, Iqbal's project envisions an in-between architecture where these materials merge and intertwine, resulting in the surreal compositions that you're not going to find anywhere else. The inspiration for this experiment stems from the iconic Francesco Borromini, a master of historical Baroque design. Borrowing from Borromini's language of layering geometric shapes, undulating forms, sculpted elements, and dramatic exuberance, Iqbal interprets these motifs with a contemporary twist. Mid-Journey becomes the tool through which the architect mimics the bold extravagance of the 17th century Italian architecture with that signature Islamic twist, generating these whirling and smooth facades enriched with free-flowing sculptural details. Kasim Iqbal initiates the process by delving into the technical and theoretical aspects of Baroque architecture, immersing himself in the works and notable architects from the movement. It takes a lot of deep, deep knowledge to get something like Mid-Journey to churn out these stunning works of art. 
Through the successive iterations with Midjourney, he injects new life into the designs, pushing them into surreal and contemporary territories. The study seamlessly weaves the sculptural details of stone with the intricacy of silk, constructing a modern rendition of the Baroque facade. The intentional merging and blurring of materials and forms plays tricks on the viewer's perception, inviting them to scrutinize closely to distinguish between stone and silk. These places look very much lived in, like sprawling metropolises or busy bazaars. Cassim draws parallels to Bernini's David sculpture, where the detailed representation of rope and hair transcends the awareness of looking at a stone sculpture. The resulting structures in this mid-journey series captivate with their intricacy and dramatic allure, showcasing an innovative exploration of Baroque design elements in a surreal landscape that still manages to look all too real. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and I'm not an AI voice. Thank you to our channel members.